YouTube, 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 it's Rico, man. I'm back with another video, man. My boy Trap Geek then came back with another video finally, man. Today's video is Young Gene Ace and Fulio, the demons of Duval County. So you already know what time it is, man. If you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel but not yet, subscribe, hit that subscribe button now. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about our channel as well. Hopefully they become supporters of the channel while we're on the ground of 5K. And hopefully this video will get recommended to a larger audience of people and bring in new supporters to the channel as well. And make sure you guys turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss out on new uploads. If you guys sometimes don't get the notifications because sometimes they don't work. So every day, just before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning, make sure you check out our channel so that way you can don't miss out on those new uploads. And follow my IG at LMER. With all that being said, man, let's start the stream record. My boy Track G got another banger for me. Let's get it. That started and we start a video now. This is my room right here. I'm gonna shop my house up out right here on the bed. Me and my little brother come on. They shop my house up right here. This is my mama's shit right here. They shot my mama's house. They shot this part right here. My mama was in the room. They shot that bitch up. My whole house always got shot. I always spent my shit. They didn't double the back though. For real. Come here though. The ATK gang. That's yeah, man, that's street life, man. I told y'all, shit, stuff like that can happen, shoot. That's why I said violence don't discriminate, so shit. You can't even be safe in your own home nowadays. Especially if you in the hood, man. As simple as that. Just better make sure y'all stay protected and hopefully don't not happen to y'all or y'all don't end up in no BS due to somebody else's decisions and stuff like that because some people can also get shot up in their own home even though their house isn't the targeted house. So remember that, but let's continue on. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's Top Killers is one. Nine people, you know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of, and, and who knows what else. Today we're shooting scenes for, um, when I see you, who I smoke. Uh -huh. Who I smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? Oh, I, I took it too far when they made a song for us. Because once the dead get involved, it's already too far. All right, what is up, everybody? For the past few months. I will agree to that, man. Once you disrespect the dead, it's pretty much no looking back at that point. It's like, it's pretty much smoke on sight. Simple as that. You already know what time it is, man. People don't play like that. That's not really how you're supposed to play in general in the first place anyway, but... Hey, man, that's how it is, though, doing the streets and drill music and all, et cetera, et cetera. The most talked about song on social media is the Why Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years, and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs, and trying to rap the most demonic shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it. Filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month, and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I Smoke? This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just you know why? They show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have like enjoy life while clowning the niggas who died? So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, remixing a classic Fantasia song and in the music video, printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. I cannot, they found his balls. He was right. Where is Corbin? Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview. 
and they never saw him again. Left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Ah! Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. What makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up on opposite ends of the feud. Now, now, they eat your blood. They fuck your blood, man. That's your real cousin? Yeah, I'm nigga cousin. I'm your fucking cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first, I got my guy Mip. And that's another thing, man. Sometimes you got family beefing with family. So, and that's what's crazy about the streets, man. You can sometimes get in and beef with your own people, man. As simple as that, but it's just crazy. Um, and that other situation before that with Corbin, I didn't even know about that one. That, that, uh, that's crazy. Like, you literally go into a job interview and never get seen again. And then they end up finding you pretty much already dead and gone and shit. And already your body is in a skeletal form. So... It's crazy, man. It's crazy that what well, what things people are capable of nowadays, man. It's just that simple. Let's continue on. Billy's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. This is heightened senses. Let's go. Not today. Going the biggest city in the country in terms of. Hold on, y'all. I think I'm a little too far here. All right, here we go. Understand this story. We gotta go to the biggest understand this story we got to go to the biggest city in the country in terms of land size got hit with an ad hold on y'all so you need a logo the obvious choice is going to fiverr that's not in alaska and that's jacksonville florida florida's always had a huge presence in rap music especially in the last two decades but its biggest city jacksonville never really got any mainstream success until now and that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival Fulio is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups, Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef is the amount of mutual friends both camps had at one point in time. Ace and Fulio were never exactly mm -hmm. close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother, Bibby. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking photos like it was a trophy. He even released an album in 2019, putting images of his dead ops as the cover, like a Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville Police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. So folks online came up with the catchphrase, JSO loves queso, for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media. You see how I'm like, come here boy, come here boy. All of Queso's songs have millions of views on YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together. Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass, <laughs> Queso was there as well. But back in Jackson. Now that's crazy. I didn't even know he was also there at, that, at around that point when they did that little Snapchat thing. Man, that's crazy. But other than that, it's too long. Bill, Queso had a well-known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins, who rep the rival gang, KTA. What's up, where you at? Come on, I do on a team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll do words up, too. Look at my cousins. They, we look alike. My cousin go on the tall. He's trying to act on. He's trying to act on. Oh, James. They got the black hoodies on. One of the cousins on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car, mm. sending him crashing into a rental wheel tire shop, where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the scene. While folks at the tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Oh, fuck niggas, play. Play. Fuck niggas, play. Fuck niggas, play, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own, laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! 
and Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all niggas play. 60 days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. See, the crazy part is, everybody that's beefing at one point in time is cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth grade. They've been friends ever since. And that's the crazy thing about the streets, too, man. It's like, before this whole beef even became known or even started, whatever, however you want to say it, at one point, some of these guys used to be cool. That's how it is from where I'm from in Chicago and stuff in Illinois. People used to be cool and then... Later on in life, at some point, some of these guys are pretty much jumping gangs. And next thing you know, now they beefing with each other when they was just cool with each other before the gang shit. So it's just crazy that you can be cool one day with somebody and then the next automatically be on that with them and trying to take each other's life or some shit and dissing each other and shit going crazy like Going beyond the point of where you just want to box, you got to the point where y'all just want to see each other dead. And that's the crazy thing about this shit. But, man, it's, it's a lot of beefs like that to this day that's pretty much like that now, man. Um, especially in music. You got people that used to be cool, then now they just want to see each other dead. It's just crazy, but let's continue on. But the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them and even had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated, but a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the sand. Neutrals had to pick sack. Meet Glamnetic. Game changing. Magnetic lashes and liners that simplify. It's quickly. At a block party in South Jacksonville, it's in YNR territory, young and reckless. A crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant, Slugger T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant, Slugger T, shooting back. But Ace and his crew managed to escape the party, leaving young and reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, mm. YNR's leader, Mookie, was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up, creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go to War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was, on the west side of Jacksonville, at mm. Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door, entering from the back, where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, and young Anace's friend who did the shoot. Hold on, did they just say she was shot 14 times? Hold on. I definitely ain't hear about this. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, and young Anace's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin D Yeah, man. See, this is what keep beefs going lifelong, bro. Like, literally something like that. You, you, the, the, if it's somebody to you, closest to you that you love or care about, had a situation where they either got shot at, shot, or killed, this is going to make you want to beef with that person that did it. For the rest of your lifetime. Y'all gonna want to see each other dead no matter what. How It don't even matter how much time go by. Stuff like that. That's lifelong right there. That's lifelong beef. Simple. So I definitely don't see this going down no time soon. It's, it's, too, much, it's too much stuff that's been said. That done happened to people from both sides. 
and currently stuff just being said back and forth on in music and shit like that. So it's just too much going on. This beef, it, I, it definitely ain't going nowhere no time soon. I just don't see it happening, man. Simple as that. Definitely too much going on. Let's continue on. Being the first death in the beef, then KTA were looking to get revenge swiftly. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song, F That, was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. Then a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullock, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting. It's a Tuesday in June of 2018. Ace, his brother, and two friends were going to Wasabi, a Japanese steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photos outside the steakhouse. Ace even recorded his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat, then followed them leaving the restaurant, driving along the highway. When they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car, killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did, except he thought Ace was dead. Come boy lost the Fortnite match. I cold up my cold up alert, man. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, bitch. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything, his brother and his two best friends. The attention, however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy. See, this definitely, too, is another reason that this is lifelong, man. He lost literally three people that was close to him all died in one night with him by their side. And he the only one that survived that whole incident. Definitely personal, man. It's, it's to the point you 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 wouldn't you wouldn't see these two get along at all. Period. You just you just never gonna see that happen. It ain't gonna be no truce, no nothing. I would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and, as we speak, has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think the primary goal is to entertain, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, Fulio's little brother, Bibby, was the next target for assassination. Bibby was just 16 at the time, and he was coming home from school one day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibby and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of 60 rounds were shot in under 15 mm. seconds. Bibby was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibby's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibby's direction. Then Queso allegedly walked up to Bibby, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray Nissan. The court documents also mentioned Queso's affinity for wearing Bibby jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio, losing his brother and his cousin in a short period of time was devastating. But 2019 was also the year his music was going to the next level. A million views back to back to back consistent and he was doing it all independent fulio was a big deal in florida but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own unlike his rival young and ace who was booking shows in multiple states just a month after fulio's brother died ace was performing at a nightclub in waycross georgia him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool when they were suddenly ambushed an suv pulled up and a group of guys hopped out shooting 
Queso is there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in that shootout. Only Ace's side got arrested for shooting back. The other gunmen were never found by police. Queso would say the quiet part out loud in his song, Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should've killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory after the fact. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off and put a hundred bullets inside the car. Lil Buck was Fulio's close friend and a high priced target. I heard about this situation already, but yeah, man, long story short, yeah, this is definitely a beef that's just completely personal. Too many people that from are both um, from pretty much both sides too many people that have died and stuff. So the way they looking at it as it, you you pretty much gotta die for this beef to be over with. Simple as that. And you ain't gonna see us being cool at all, not even trying to be cool. And on top of that, you ain't gonna never catch us in the same place and something not happen. So that's how that's how that's how deep this beef is and how bad it is right now. Simple. Continue you on the video almost over. ATK got the drop off, allegedly rolling up at 11 in the morning while he was applying for a job to assassinate him. Queso posted to his Insta story right after saying, I kill a dude and get my toes done. Receiving a pedicure with the caption, kill a N-word, then go get my toes done. This wasn't the first hit done outside a job site. Another rapper, Jump Out, who beefed with Young and Ace and ATK, was killed while waiting in line to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leading to the infamous line on Who I Smoke, where they say, found out where he was working and clocked him out. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter who it was, one side was shooting at the other, and the other would shoot back. We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who are locked up and YNR Mookie and Slugga T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all ain't understood this yet, a boy. And to this day, Young and Ace still has a bullet casing in his butt from the quadruple shooting outside the Wasabi Steakhouse. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah, this be this video. This I say this probably the craziest one I've seen so far. Like even out of the Chicago ones, man. Even though I'm from there and stuff, and I know what's all going on with those beefs and stuff. This one is just crazy. The the video I'm speaking on is simply only just because the video is all that we pretty much talking about anyway. So with the video that this one is, yeah, this is probably the craziest one trap geek that did. But other than that, y'all already know, man, the street lifestyle is no joke. And just know it's a lot of risk you taking just by being in the streets. And it's not just for you, it's people around you too as well that's taking risk and shit. Cause they, at the end of the day, even if they ain't got shit to do with anything, they still in the middle of what you got going on just because of the simple fact you got people that want something to happen to you or them. Simple as that. Because at the end of the day, if people can't get to you, who you think they going after next? They going to go after your family? They don't care if it's a girlfriend, wife, elderly, grandparents, family. I mean, well, I already said family, obviously, but mom, dad, don't matter. Sisters, siblings, don't matter. They going out of everybody and anybody. It's just pretty much no no restrictions, no rules at the end of the day. So before you hop in the streets, just know what you're getting into. Simple, because you can end up in a situation where it's a beef like this. Hella family members getting, getting hurt and left and right, friends, all type of shit going on. So you just got just to gotta pretty much make sure you make your right choice in life, man. At the end of the day, you don't want to waste it. Um... It is what it is. Everybody got their reasons for why they hop in the streets and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of bad shit that go on when you hop in the streets. Simple as that. But other than that, man, that's pretty much the end of this video, man. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to this video, make sure you leave a like.
comment and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel don't forget to tell your family and friends as well about our channel hopefully they become supporters of the channel while we on the ground of 5k and hopefully this video you recommend to a large audience some people will hopefully bring in new supporters as well and make sure you guys turn on post notifications that way you don't miss out on new uploads and sometimes notifications don't work like i said earlier so every day just check before y'all go to bed or when y'all wake up in the morning to see if we got new uploads or whatever the case is you don't want to miss out simple as that and also follow my ID at LME Yarda. And I'm going to catch y'all later on with more videos. Peace.